Uh, my name's Rupert Jackson. I was a barrister for 25 years. I was a High Court judge for 10 years. I was a Court of Appeal judge for another 10 years. Then, uh, when I reached the age of 70, I retired as a judge and I became an arbitrator uh, and a part-time judge in Kazakhstan. So that is what I now do. I work as an arbitrator, a mediator, and from time to time I go out to Kazakhstan to try cases in their international commercial court. Well, a, a bit at school, when I went to Cambridge, I read classics for two years before switching to law in my third year. And classics has remained an abiding interest all of my life. Well, in my work, uh, I think that uh, an understanding of Greek and Roman literature has helped me in crafting my submissions as a barrister and perhaps even uh, in drafting uh, judgments as a judge. Uh, I work with words and so a classical education has stood me in good stead. But I don't think that's the main justification for studying classics. As I see it, a classical education gives you an abiding interest for the whole of your life. In my leisure time, I'm able to read classical texts, although my vocabulary now is getting a bit rusty, as it is many years since I left uh, university. But also, it provides a basis for projects. I'm currently preparing to give a lecture on Aristotle's theory of justice to a group of lawyers. So I've been reading or rereading Arist Aristotle's politics, Nicomachean ethics, uh, and Eudemian ethics. A, a classical education means you can read widely in ancient literature and, if you so wish, provides a basis for interesting projects in your leisure time. Well, Classics for All is a charity set up uh, about 12 years ago, I think, which promotes and funds the teaching of classics in state schools. We've got to get away from the idea that a classical education is just the preserve of the elite at private schools. And now a large number of state schools, both primary and secondary, are teaching Latin, Greek and ancient history uh, with funding and support from Classics for All. Uh, my own role in it uh, is fairly limited. I served as a trustee of the charity for three years. We would discuss the issues affecting the charities, what schools to support, and how that support should be structured. In addition to that, I was chairman of the lawyers group within Classics for All. A very large number of lawyers have had a classical education and have a great interest in classics. So we formed a lawyers group charging each member a substantial subscription. And this raised funds for Classics for All, which goes into their projects, and at the same time, provides a focus of interest for, for the lawyers because we've had interesting talks for them about matters affecting classics and the law. If you have an interest in the classical world, and if you study classics, it opens out a whole vista for you. You can read in the original or in the translation the great tragedies, uh, the great histories, the, um, the, the philosophical works and so on of the ancient world, and you gave, gain an understanding of the foundations of Western culture.